other thing was Mars rotation. The Mars rotation does two things in those light conditions to, to place them far out. <coughs> <laughs> That's a must. Have we, have we made a pen yet? <laughs> he has, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We're going too slow, John? Nope. Perfect. So like if we look from a from a top view to the to the main sail with the mast, it means like we got create a certain depth in our uh, whole profile, our whole wing section. By rotating the mast out we make the overall depth. You see like I draw a line from the front of the mast to the actual leads. We make the overall depth of the of our wing section deeper. By rotating out, <coughs> we uh, that's that's what you've been looking for in light conditions to rotate further out to make that wing section deeper. The other positive thing about it is that we got the unsupported part of the mast in the top. We rotate it more sideways, which makes it that it wants to bend easier. It bends easier over this side in the top than fore and aft. So by rotating it out a little bit more, it makes, it, makes the top more flexy. That makes sense? And when, it, when it's more flexy, it's more responsive to those little moves in the breeze up there. So it helps the top to do the open, close, open, close. Therefore, I try in light conditions to rotate the mouse quite far out. And too far, if you look on the back of your sail, you can see like this most likely will be too much. And now you create frontal surface into the breeze. So what's the right angle? You can Do you look for a smooth transition from the mask to the lead into the sail? Yeah, you try to, but it's you can you can have like quite some degrees of difference before you actually think like you look over it. So a good a good thing, a good uh, hand on is that the mass rotation facing this route is sort of a really good average setting in really light conditions we had yesterday. You can go like four inches further forward than that. Upwind. Upwind. Which is about what we, what we use. What about downwind? Downwind, we open it all the way. Yeah. Also to create the extra depth in that wing. And the angle of the earth, less main sheet you have tension on. So the the form of the shape fits the mast for that for that shape and the angle of attack the bridge is more from this angle so are you using a positive rotator? Yeah. Most of us have wing mass now. The mass will actually fall off to the side so the pressure hits and the mass will help us to to get those extra gusts where the mass does fall off to the side to help us keep the boat going flat and smooth. Sounds like you care more about mass rotation for the power in your um, No, not really. It's more uh, like what does the Cunningham is what we just saw. We help the leads to, to open up. And then if the mast can help us a little bit as well, and we, we feel as well with those wing masts, if you rotate them in, you get less power. And you, at least you get more control over the boat. It does gets less tippy and more forward motion. About the days when it's blowing uh, ballistic out there and you're in basic survival mode, which do uh, you use Cunningham first, then mass rotation? Yeah, but uh, if it's survival mode, you go like maximum Cunningham on and you have the mass rotation as far in as is, is sensible. Yeah. <laughs> it's more that trans transition with, if you're around the 12 to 16 knots where you have to make the decision like, more cutting I am or uh, the mass a little bit more in. And how do you find that? <coughs> depends, depends on your sail, depends on the day. 
And is there one answer? No, there's no one answer for it. You really have to try. That's why you need to be out an hour before the race and you sail the boat and you play around a little bit with it to feel like, oh, this works. The boat feels nice now with this setting. And I do the same thing. I just try the muscle tension further in. Does it feel better? Yes or no? And uh, it takes me a really short time to feel it. And my crew always blames me like, man, you already feel it? I, I, I only feel it like after 15 seconds. So you also give yourself some time. If you put a setting, try to focus again on saying, feel, does it actually feel different or not? With, with the same main soul, is it wave conditions that determines which way you go? Or what, what influences what you do? More coming down, more rotation. Yeah, I said like it's in the conditions. It's, uh, it's really depending on what's going on. Sometimes you, you really have to try. And so like if, if it's wavy conditions you, and you go sideways, you can have a flatter setup because you can have higher higher end speed. And sometimes against the waves you need a fuller setup. So you change the setting according to if you go against the waves you you have to uh, you, you put a little bit less rotation in and you put more twist and when you go sideways you you can trim it in a little bit, but that's really fine tuning.